let's look at rounding decimals. This is just a review of our place values. The first number after the decimal is the tenths place. The second number is the hundredths place. The third number is the thousandths place. And the fourth number is the ten thousandths, and it will continue going from there. So our first examples, if we want to round these to the tenths place, that's going to be the first number after the decimal. Okay, it is important to note that we need the number right after that as well. Okay, so if it's four and below, you let it go. But if it's five and above, give it a shove. That's just a helpful phrase to remember what to do. So on our first one, since it's four and below, we just round this to 0 0.3 or 0 and 3 tenths. For this one, again, the one is in the tenths place, but we need to look at the second number or the number in the hundredths place to figure out how to round this. Five and above, you're gonna take this number and round it up. So that would be 0 0.2 or 0 and 2 tenths. For our next one, our decimal goes all the way out to the thousandths place, but we don't need this number. We only need the 2. So it's 4 and below, so we leave it alone and it just goes to 0 0.1 or 0 and 1 tenth. Let's look at rounding to the nearest hundredth. This rule still applies. So this time the hundredths place is the second decimal, but we need that third number to tell us how we round. So on this first one, the nine is above five, so I'm gonna round this up to zero and 77 hundredths. For our second one, one is below four, so we're gonna leave it alone and round down to eight six or zero and 86 hundredths. And for our last one, two is also below four, so we leave it alone at zero and 85 hundredths.